G'day, this is Charlie, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a testimonial to your WordPress website using uh, the Testimonials plugin. In fact, it's called Testimonials Manager plugin for WordPress. Um, of course, I'll put the link with this video, uh, but it's profitplugs.com slash testimonials hyphen manager hyphen WordPress uh, to get access to it. Um, so let's let's move forward. What I've got, uh, just so we can go through uh, the few things, I have a page on my website called uh, Nice Things People Say. And on that site, or page, not site, on, the, on that page, I have a list of, um, or I have the testimonials that people have given me. And you can see them here in front of me. Uh, and the, one of the benefits of the Testimonials Manager plugin is that this is configurable, so you can actually um, make changes to the layout and make it make it look pretty. Uh, you'll notice that within the Testimonials Manager, you can have just text, or you can have uh, an image as well for the for the contributor. So what I'm going to do, uh, I have a testimonial that was given to me. Um, last night it's here in a text document I've just pasted it into a text document uh, and what I'm going to do is go and add it to my site so that we go to WP admin uh, now this is using WordPress 3.2.1 and the most recent version of testimonials manager we scroll down and on the left hand side we've got testimonials and you'll see that we've got manage, add new and settings. To add a new testimonial, I'm just going to go in and click add new. And when the screen loads, uh, it gives us uh, the add new testimonial. So there's a couple of things we can do around here. We've got the testimonial details. Select what type of image we want to use. If the client hasn't given us or if the, the person hasn't given us an image, we uh, can select no image. If they've sent their image in, we can upload the image and it will be resized to 48 by 48 pixels. Or we can use Gravatar. And Gravatar will use the tes the testimonial giver's email address to get to get their image from gravatar.com. I'm just going to click on no image for this time. In the name, you put in the person's name. And you can link to their website. So first of all, it asks you for the website's name. And then it asks you for the URL of the website. So you can actually give your testimonial givers uh, a link back from your site. Then we have a WYSIWYG enter editor that we can actually enter the testimonial with. So I'm just going to copy that from my text document and I'm going to paste it in. Now the reason I uh, actually like to cut and paste uh, into from a text document is any extraneous or strange formatting is generally removed from the text and it won't interfere with how that's being displayed on our site. Uh, so the one thing I do need to do is get rid of the double quotes. Um, they're not cleaned and you do need to make sure that if you've got double quotes going in, it's best to remove them. Double quotes or single quotes, it's best to remove them and add them in manually when you're done. Um, we've got a double quote down here. So we can actually do some editing on, on this testimonial. I'm going to put some paragraphs in so it breaks it up a bit. And because of some of the things that uh, you can use this to actually highlight your keywords within the testimonial as well to help with your search engine optimization. So uh, I'm just going to highlight brand new website. There's not much else in there that I would, would do, but uh, you can see how you can format it. If you want to add in a specific image, you can add in an image using uh, the insert edit image box. You do need to have the link to the image if you want to add in a specific image here. You can put in hyperlinks. So if you want a hyperlink, uh, so that's a link back to someone else's site from within here, you can do that. And most dot points, uh, numbered lists, indent text, uh, 
play with it a little, see what comes up. Sometimes the formatting in the testimonial won't suit the layout of your page. So you do need to be a little careful that you're not getting too fancy with the testimonials. Uh, now we've got um, her name. So we're gonna, I'm actually going to take her name out. But before I do, I've noticed that she's put herself down as creator, organize your life organizers. So what I'm going to do, because that's how um, Claire would like her uh, link to appear, I'm actually going to, up in the website name, book creator, organize your life organizers. And then I'm going to delete her information from the bottom because that's going to go in. Now that that's done, I'm going to click on create testimonial and you'll see at the top it says new testimonial created and it's put us back into the add testimonial window. What I'm going to do is just go to my testimonials page and have a look at it and make sure that it's gone in the way that I want it to. There we go and there's my new testimonial and we've got her link. So you can see Creator Organize Your Life Organizers is linked to her website uh, and the text that I highlighted has been highlighted. If I want to manage uh, a testimonial and change it, uh, I can go down to, let's say I notice there's a typo, uh, I can go down to Testimonials in the left hand column through WP Admin, click on the Manage link. There's a list of all of the testimonials that have been provided. There is a problem with the way um, the Gravatar displays in here. Don't let that worry you. Um, it, it doesn't ch affect the front end. Uh, let's say I want to affect the Claire. I want to change the one that we've just done for Claire. Um, I just highlight over it or put my mouse over it. You'll see we get the drop down menu with the edit and the delete. We can click on edit and it puts us into the editing window. We can change uh, the image. So let's say they send us an image to use. I'm going to try Claire's Gravatar. So we're going to use Gravatar for Claire, but let's say they send you an image, you can upload an image to it. Uh, you can change all of the details that you've entered and you just click on Update Testimonial. And that's how you edit an existing testimonial. Let's go check the testimonials again. See if I've got the right Gravatar email for her. I most certainly do and you can see we've got Claire's Gravatar here on the right hand side. So it puts in a nice little image for her um, what, in, into the testimonial and adds a little bit to it. The, the next question you're probably asking is yes but how do I get those to display on my site once I've entered them all and I've enabled the plugin how do I actually get them to show on the site? It's actually quite easy. Uh, I've created it as a page on my website. Uh, you can create it as a post if you want, but pages are normally good for this type of information. So go to your pages menu and because I've got a lot of pages, I'm just going to pause the video and find my testimonials page and go and edit it. Okay, so what I've done is I've um, in the in the search bar at the top right hand side for my pages, I've just put in nice things people say, which is the name of the page, and I clicked the search pages. It's actually given me the page. I'm going to click on edit, and uh, what you'll see here is to get your testimonials to display on your page, all you need to do is add the short code show underscore testimonials. Now short code are, are codes that have a square bracket, uh, left hand square bracket, some text, maybe some parameters and then a right hand square bracket and what this tells WordPress is uh, go and look for a function called show testimonials and go and do what all the code that that function tells you to do and substitute it here instead of this code. Um, and that's it. That, that's as hard as it gets to put the testimonials onto your website. Hope this video has been helpful. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.